Hey guys, Absro here. Uh, recently, Thick44 and I were flown out to Ubisoft LA, or Ubisoft, I'm never really sure how to say anyway, it. Anyway, we went out to LA and we got to check out Tom Clancy's The Division. Now, I assume you've clicked on this video because you would like to know more about the game. And I don't want to waste your time, so let's get started. What's the story? The story for this game takes place in New York City. Some stupid terrorist organization has contaminated a bunch of money with a virus and then put the money into circulation on Black Friday somehow. During this outbreak, you play the role of some dude or some dudette, whatever, you can choose your sex, whose job is to help bring order back to the city from rioters, looters, and you know, all sorts of typical video game bad guy assholes. This one guy has a flamethrower on his back, he's fun to shoot. So how do I play the game? In normal RPG fashion, the first thing you're gonna do is create a character. I don't need to explain this process to you, because unless you've not played a game in the past 20 years, you ought to know what- After you create your character, the game opens and you're dropped into a section of New York City. Your first job is to establish a base. In order to do that, you have to kill a handful of bad guys blocking access to said base. As this will most likely be your first encounter with a group of enemies, you'll notice some similarities to other games like Destiny. For example, when you shoot the enemies, a bunch of numbers pop up. Now these numbers represent how much damage you're doing to the enemy. I don't know, I don't really pay attention to that. I usually look at the red bar above the head and you try to make it go from being full to not being full. Anyway, you kill the bad guys and you get access to your base. At your base, you can do all kinds of stuff like sell weapons, buy weapons, and stuff. But first, you have to follow the glowing exclamation marks to activate three different sections of your base by using a laptop. Now these sections are your medical unit, your technical unit, and your security unit. And these are important because this is sort of where the heart of the game lies. You see, the story of the game follows three different paths, medical, technical, and secure, securital, secure, security. Doing missions on each of these paths allows your character to unlock attributes pertaining to that path. For example, you do a medical-related mission, you might unlock a perk that will allow you to heal your team during combat. Do I really need to explain this to you? Wait a minute, is the game single player or multiplayer? The neat thing about this game is it's actually both. If you want, you can play the division completely by yourself, devoid of any real human interaction. Want to be the lone hero who saves New York City from the terrors of impoverished and desperate people trying to survive? You can do that! Do you want to take on the mean streets of the Big Apple with a group of your dumb friends? You can do that too! There can be up to four players, so one or two or three of your friends can join on you and you can run around this big old map of New York City! Wait, hold on, the map? What's the map like? Well, the map's like New York. You know, I was only able to play this game for about four hours at a capture event. So, you know, here's some footage so you can kind of see that the map covers a good chunk of New York City. Now, everything in this white area, that's where you can play by yourself or your group of friends and you can run around and that's where the main story takes place. This is where you're gonna be doing most of the tech and security, medical missions, and all that stuff. Now, you'll notice this red section in the middle of the map. That's known as Asshole Central. Wait a minute, what's Asshole Central? Well, it's not really called Asshole Central. The, the, the PR people at the capture event referred to it as the Dark Zone. But basically, this is the area where PvP is allowed. This is, this is the place where you can go and shoot each other in the face. You, either by yourself or you with three of your friends, can have the utter joy of duking it out with mom banger 69 and his stupid friends and an all-out war for resources and the best weapons the game has to offer now also in the dark zone or you can decide to work with the other people you run across instead of just shooting them in the face but come on you know everyone's just gonna shoot on sight like a bunch of fuck okay i really just want to know if this game is fun like i said i only had four hours to play it but yeah it was fun. The first thing that grabbed me is the environment. There's a lot of detail in every area we visited, and the city feels both lived in and in chaos. Pedestrians even walk up to you and ask you for help. Eres un santo. There's also a day and night cycle as well that changes the lighting as you play. That leads to some of those shut your mouth and stare at the pretty screen moments. The cover system was also pretty cool. You can easily jump from one position of cover over to the next. If you're working with a group of friends, this allows you to strategically place yourself before you engage the enemy. It's a simple feature, but I enjoyed it. And there's a lot of customization options as well. I was always picking up a new hat, jacket, pants, guns, and other accessories to change the appearance of my character and my loadout. Okay, this is sounding cool. Anything else? Honestly, in the time that I played, my favorite feature was the lack of loading screens. Multiplayer games usually bore me because after every match or level, I'm stuck looking at a loading screen. This game had none of that. 
How do you enter your base? Well, you walk into it. How do you start missions? Well, you hit X and then you walk into it. How do you transition from the co-op zone over to asshole central? I'm, I'm sorry, the dark zone. Well, you walk into it. You don't have to sit there and look at loading screens as you walk into different areas. It, it all just sort of runs together. It feels cohesive and it's impressive to a guy like me who only has about an hour or so at night to play a game. I don't want to sit there and look at loading screens. I just want to play and this game lets you do that. Oh man, this game sounds good. I'm gonna pre-order it right now! Whoa, 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 stop. Listen, I still have concerns about the game. I don't know how long the main game is. Is it, is it a 10 hour game? Is it a 40 hour game? Do the missions and the enemies get repetitive? Are they gonna offer enough variety? Do the bad guys get so hard that they just turn into those typical bullet sponges these types of games are known for? What is there to do after you've completed the story? Do you even complete the story? Or is it one of those bullshit teaser endings that you can tell was made to make you purchase the DLC? Fuck you, Destiny! There's a lot of I don't knows with this title right now. As with any game, I always say wait for the reviews or watch more gameplay videos to make sure that this is the game for you. But my first exposure to The Division was a positive one. I can't tell you to rush out and buy it just yet, but I will say it's one to keep your sexy little eyes on. Alright, that's all for now. Do me a favor and leave a like if you have a pulse. And also feel free to leave questions in the comments section. I'll try to answer all that I can. We'll be uploading some more Division stuff soon, so also keep an eye out for that. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you. Go, get out of here. Go do something constructive. Like, I don't know. Go touch yourself. <laughs>